One of the most surprising things about the differences between the Americans and the British that I've learned is that there aren't quite as many as I expected. Um, you know, the accents are different, the way we think about some things are different, but overall they're really just, it doesn't feel like that much of a different country. I think that the British are a bit more conservative um, than the Americans in the sense that, you know, they kind of watch how they display their emotions and how they interact with people more. Um, especially, I think that might be a bigger difference with Americans who aren't from a large city as well and don't maybe have such a sort of physical like, bubble around them. Um, I think the British are also a bit more aware of class than the Americans are. Um, just in the fact that it comes up in daily conversation and I think at Bristol we are quite aware of a class divide. But a nice thing about being an American in England is that you do feel a bit uh, detached from that class divide. So, you know, I can witness it and I can understand it, but I don't feel as I'm so sort of swept up in it as some people are. So that is quite nice. Um, some people can be quite formal, especially uh, I think older generation can feel quite formal. And that can be a bit getting difficult to get used to. You know, if you walk into a shop, um, Americans are used to a, hey, how's it going, a big smile, very exuberant, and here it's just not really like that, but, you know, it's, you kind of get used to it and you understand that it's not anything, no one's being rude, it's just another culture. Um, yeah, I think if anything, I've really learned how similar we are, you know, I guess one other difference to contradict myself there is the idea of space, that um, here, you know, people think, oh, a two-hour journey to London is so long, whereas in America you think two hours is so close. Um, you know, in England, the UK is much smaller than the US, and that really does factor into how people think about going places, how people think about time, um, which for Americans is great. You know, you think, oh, six hour train ride is so quick, and people here think it's a long time. So it, that's more something just to think about. Um, I think the weather also really does play into some differences between Americans and British. Uh, you know, Americans are used to more extreme weather almost, um, and here, you know, you get a centimeter of snow and things will go into chaos, um, which can be very frustrating at some points. But you do learn to get used to it. Um, that being said, I'm completely not used to really dark evenings and rain or drizzle all the time, but you do kind of start to appreciate it and understand that these are just sort of differences that you have to live with that are of another culture. Thank you.